Hello and welcome. In this small video, I will try to show you how how to perform Frozen Princess. It's a small strat that is used mostly in speedruns, can be used of course in hitless runs, in challenge runs, I don't know, like anywhere basically, because it really trivializes and simplifies P2 of, Fro oh, fr sorry, <laughs> P2 of Princess. And it's really, really easy to do. It's really easy to perform and it's doable on every single patch. But you need to know a couple of moments, how to perform it, so let's just like get started immediately, let's go immediately to the game. So, first thing you have to know, like you have to kill P1 of Princess, so Lorien, on a certain spot, and it's pretty well highlighted, it has like really good visual cues. Uh, it has like a square that you should look for. So basically, Princess initial position of spawn in P2 is right here, where my character is standing right now. That's what you need to remember. Like, you need to keep it in mind all the time during this fight. And uh, here, like approximately starting from where feathers are, like as you can see, like on the other side of the arena, there is no feathers completely. I mean, there are some, but it's just garbage. So basically, right here, there's like lots of them here. And also before this stairs, that's really important. So you cannot go too far. That's really important. That's the reason why also you should stand inside of this red carpet. So it's basically like a square that is highlighted, like inside of a red carpet before the stairs and before their initial spawn position. So problem is if you go too far, for example, to the right side or left side, they will notice you immediately. And that's the biggest problem. You won't be able to recover it somehow. Like, it's just impossible. You, they will see you, and that's it. <laughs> and you won't be able to hide again. So you need to be careful with that. Second, second moment. Uh, when you hit them, for example, you throw firebomb. Like, you can do that with any spell distantly, for example. Any consumable, throwing knife, black firebomb. Firebomb, like, I don't know, done pie, I don't know, whatever, like, pile of shit you want to throw at them, it will work. Uh, or any melee attack, just any source of damage. Be careful with not hitting approximately them on this position. The problem is that your hit transitions from P1 to P2. And that means, so for example, like, I hit with a character like this, Lorian dies, but hit will transition into second phase and you will hit immediately them, and if you hit Lorien in second phase, you are fucked. You won't be able to recover it. Like, you will have to quit out, start fight again, or you will have to fight P2 legit. So that's the biggest problem. So yeah, you need to be really careful. I will show that uh, later once we're gonna start fighting them. And I guess that's basically it. And also, like, small, uh, small moments. Uh, one of the openers of Princess you can control. So Princess have two openers. Fast vertical slam and uh, delayed like horizontal slash. So basically if he does delayed horizontal slash, that means you can control his position. So you roll behind him and uh, on the last teleport, he will teleport in front of you. So that means direction you're, you're looking at, he will teleport right in front of you, which means that you can control him. And this will look like that approximately of course so you're standing here he will teleport left or right doesn't matter you roll here for example and then you just turn to a certain direction you want him to be on that means like he will teleport right here i hope he will do that i hope i will show that so let's let's start with actual fights let me load the save file real quick on this save file I have Twin Blades plus 6 with 39 decks. Um, that's a regular all bosses, uh, glitchless and all bosses unrestricted to setup. We have Pale Pine Resin, except that we have Black Fire Bomb instead of Throwing Knives. In all bosses unrestricted you have Throwing Knives, which is a, makes it a bit easier. With Black Fire Bomb, as I said, it has a huge explosion, so you need to be really careful with your throw. And you have to make sure that you will not hit them in P2. So yeah, let's start. Uh, if he does that opener, like slow opener, you will see that I will turn and he will teleport in front. If he does a vertical slam, you just have to play uh, like how he, I don't know, 
Just basically what you see is what you get. And then you set up stagger or whatever and kill them from a distance or lure them on a certain position. I will try to show all the examples. So let's start with the first one. We go, apply resin. And that's the opener you can control. As you can see, he teleported right in front of me. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, And see, so I try to hit this direction, absolutely opposite from their initial position. So I don't hit them in second phase because otherwise you will hit them, as I said, in phase two. And if you accidentally hit Lorian, that's what happens. And you cannot somehow recover it unless you quit out. So that's one of the examples. That was the example where you actually can control his position of the opener. Uh, because he does that, like, delayed horizontal, like, kind of diagonal slam. Uh, slash, sorry. Uh, and, yeah, after that you can control. So let's, let's hope he does a different one. That's a different one. So here is what you see is what you get. We just set up our stagger again. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, L1, L2, R1, L1, and here, look. So we have a, his HP, basically perfect for Black Fire Bomb. Well, I mean, maybe not. <laughs> but yeah, basically, if you kill him with Black Fire Bomb, he will be there. Stand in. If you're far, that's what happens, basically. If you're far, he will notice you immediately. That's why it's really important to stand on the carpet. Like, here, I kind of wanted to... Well, <laughs> killing was Black Fire Bomb, it really didn't go, like, the way it was intended, but, well, that's my, my thought, sadly. So, yeah, that's basically how you approximately want to have it. So, you prepare him for certain conditions. Uh, after that, you, for example, go on that spot and throw something or cast spell, I don't know, throw consumable, anything you want. Just kill him distantly. Or you wait for him to go to that spot, which is slower, but it's fine. And you kill him for, with melee. Just make sure not to do like I did right now. Because as you can see, if you're a bit too far, he will immediately notice you. And P2 starts. And let's go for the last one. And I will show the most important, the lineup. So yeah, once again, that's a controllable opener. See, he teleports right in front. So that's two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And let's, for example, say that situation goes out of control. Like, for example. So what are we going to do in this situation? We're just going to try to lure him closer. Like this. So, yeah, that's a good example. See? So, even if... Even if this happens, like, you're completely fine, just wait a bit, lure him closer, and you'll, you're fine. So, we are in a state of Frozen Princess. And by the way, it's not a glitch. He actually can see you, see? He moves head, <laughs> by the way. But yeah, speaking of that, what you want to do to stay in a stealth mode? Like, you want to hit Lotric only, like this. For Twin Blades, there is a very good lineup for that. So basically, here, here is the line on the floor. You should look at my cursor right now. There is a line on the floor that kind of is connected to Lauren's left feet. So basically, here is the line. And you want to line up yourself approximately uh, like aligned with that line. And just press L1. It's easier to do on the keyboard. I strongly recommend it. If you don't want to do it on keyboard, feel free on controller. Up to you. It's doable. But it's easier on, on keyboard for me, like, and for honestly most, most of players. Because you just do mechanical moves, you cannot, you know, just turn like, ish, angle, you know, ain't 87 degrees or something like that. You just like, forward, backwards, etc, etc. So yeah. For example, you have a different weapon, that situation is kinda more tricky. 
So for example, you have dagger. That's gonna be more tricky, or like, let's start with short sword. In this situation, since short sword attack is kinda goes from right side to the left side, it's gonna be mm, a bit more finicky. But in this case, I suggest you to two-hand it. And as you can see, attack goes a bit more like vertically. So basically you want to do the same stuff, but I would align your like line up a bit more to the a bit more to the left side. Not like this, sorry. It's really really scary, but you know. Like this approximately. I'm not used to that, so it's like it looks maybe very scuffed, but yeah. That's like the way. With Twin Blades is just the most comfy part. With Dagger, kind of the same, I would say. Basically, two hand and also R1. Like this. You can also do that with Bow. I honestly don't know lineup with Bow, but approximately look at this part of Lorien, uh, Lordric, sorry, like on his back, and you need to shoot them there. You should kind of practice that. I don't know this lineup, so I won't be able to tell you. But basically, if you just stick to that uh, lineup, like with whatever weapon you use, you can do whatever you want. You can, like, if you have resins, you can apply resin. You can, I don't know, eat blossom, like, do whatever you want. And if you just stick to that lineup, you will be completely fine. Because as you can see, they don't react. But also, it's not an AI break, because what you can do is you can go too far and see, they immediately see you. And, well, I mean, it's unfixable, unless you just kill them and that's it. Well, that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Big shout out to my Boosty subscribers. Later I will make some more detailed notes about Frozen Princess and different setups that I will share on Boosty as well. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section or on my stream twitch.tv slash sieg. And I'll catch you up next time, peeps. See ya.